guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle United career mode in FIFA 18. We have sort of kind of got our season underway in a way. We were able to get a win, a draw, and a loss in the last episode. Now that's way better than what we were able to do in the previous two. And of course, as you know, and I've been hammering home the fact that I'm trying to do at least one month's worth in this career mode per episode. So that means we have five Premier League games here, and I'm normally going to play about three. This time I think I'll, prob I'll probably play... Maybe Crystal Palace, Manchester United and Watford because they're maybe the toughest games that I've eyed off. I know Bournemouth maybe would be a good game as well. West Brom, Jabby in a way too, but they're the ones that I'm going to simulate. The month that we have coming up as well too, by the way, in December, it's going to be jam-packed. I'm probably going to have to play four games, if anything, because they're just career mode. It piles it on you in December. And I mean, we're out of all cup competitions, but imagine if we were in Europe, still in the Carabao Cup or whatever, and we had about six or seven Premier League games on top of that. It'd be ridiculous, but... Thankfully, we can make do. I've had a couple of games now under these settings. I feel like I'm getting more and more used to how to play with it, and I've just got to put as much of an emphasis and a focus on defense as possible. Every time I turn the ball over, I have to work like hell to make sure that they don't get a shot. Because if they get a good, even poor looking shot, if it's on target with these settings, I'm basically royally screwed. So... Uh, who knows? We'll probably play the exact same team as you can see. Obviously still missing Paris through injury, but Diame's in there for now. Palace, obviously not exactly doing all too well to start their Premier League season either, but they have had a slightly better start than us. They're maybe two or three points ahead of us at this point, so with a win here, we could jump them. So bring it on then. It's uh, Actually, I'm pretty confident the first game that we're playing under lights at St. James Park in this career mode, so bring it. Diame has a lot of space to run here, but not a lot of support. We're going to go wider here. Richie, not a bad ball this. Can I fake shot? Create some space. Back post actually. I saw something there. Tatsu! Oh, what a start! What an amazing start! Christian Atsu, who actually picked up a yellow card very early on in this game, has already scored his first. I saw the, uh, I was trying to fake shot originally to get some sort of a look for Slamani, but I saw Atsu making a good run. Ball was on point after the Cruyff turn, and the header is on point as well. Oh, don't tell me they're going to do the exact same thing to me. How easily did you... Lascelles just fell over. All the all the attacker had to do was just, like, just push him off. And then he was just falling over. I no. And of course, whenever you send someone through one-on-one -on, -one on these settings, you're not going to get a save. And this goalkeeper that I've bought, I'm really starting to regret because I think I've, I think I've gotten a bit of a flop. I know he hasn't had anything to do today, but in his past few games, he's been a bit shocking. Maybe it's opening up a little bit at the moment. Slamani... Can he turn? Can he get a shot? Can he? Can he? It's going to get blocked. Yeah, I knew that. And we hit that ball hard. The ball's still just stuck to Diame's feet. We're going all the way here with Slomani. Can he deliver another good ball? Nearly! Oh, I've... I don't know what happened with Diame there. It's almost like he stopped running. But I think he could have got there. Where the... And two. Where's the fucking back four? Where's the defense? Is Matt Ritchie playing at right back? Where's Yedlin? And... Even if Richie is that far back, the marking on him was so poor too. Yeah, Richie is... I, I don't know where Yedlin is. I don't know why... Uh, this, I kind of want to have a go at Richie for how fucking terrible a job he did sticking on Townsend. But he's not a right back. Where's Yedlin? Too slow, Richie. Too fucking slow. Can you... This could be a big intercept. Maybe. Slomani. Atsu. Atsu. Oh, no! What a fucking save! Come on! Oh, one of those games. One of those games where I could easily be up two. Maybe even three. If the sliders are set to 50-50. This could work. Oh, that could work! What a move! Brilliant stuff from Islam Salmani. Brilliant stuff by everyone involved in that passage of play. Oh, we got to watch this from the start. First, it's what a flick on. What a pass by Slamani, The one-two. And then the finish, which wasn't the best. But still did enough to get past the keeper. Look. Actually, no, yeah, no, he's done enough there comfortably. It didn't exactly get in the side inning, but brilliant move, brilliant goal, Islam Slomani. And it's 2-2, two -two. all right then. We scored a pretty early goal in the last half, and then they just didn't really take over the game, but they just had two good looks out of nowhere, and then bang, took the lead right back. Please, let's not let them hap let, let's not let that happen again. Yes, we've seen a way out too nicely. Does Slomani want to go on another big run? That's a fucking shit pass. Oh, please, no. We can't concede like that. Not after such an awful turnover. No, what a great ball! Oh, I can't give him one! Not one fucking chance! And this all comes from a fucking poor turnover by Christian Atsu. 
And I had a defender right there too. I think even the keeper got a little something on this as well. Oh, he did. Doesn't matter. You can't stop him! This is too hard! I- no. Why? I've- Ugh! I don't want to back down. I don't want to change the sliders, but fuck I might have to. This is just ridiculous. I've got to rechange this. I've got to change this to the try not to get relegated challenge or something. I don't know. Just go to who's open. Go to whoever's open. Savet maybe up the middle. Slamani. Could he? Take it now. Penalty! Oh, the defenders had a mare right there. I thought that was a very easy clearance for him. Instead, Slamani was able to somehow get a shot. Not really, though. It was Tackled, but oh, I need to convert this. I need this. Almost looked like he was getting, I don't know, dragged back or something. But anyway, Shelby. That's enough! It's 3 3! Oh, come on. I, I really want this win. Could we pull off a massive, huge, huge win here if we can do it? What a pass. Oh, the touch isn't great. Zaha, what a save from Strakosha! Oh, I thought they messed that move up, but the touch, the poor touch actually worked in their favour. Why are you trying to clear the ball like that, Shelby? And then when you do clear it, you just kick it out when you... Fuck, don't be a fucking idiot right now like you always seem to do in late-game situations, John Joe Shelby. Just don't fucking do it. Clear this ball. Thank you very much. Oh my god, that could work brilliantly. What a clearance. Islam Salmani's gonna have to go here. You've got to use everything in the tank here, son. Everything. Referee! Oh, it's a free kick. Surely continuation. Oh, surely it's continuation into the box. Right, I I just don't back myself to score from here, so I'm going to lay this one off. Shelby, bang. Oh, that was on target. What a save. Kennedy. Kennedy's away. Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh, the save again. Shelby's put it. No, he hasn't. He hasn't put it wide. It's been blocked. Oh, for Christ's sake. Come on. Kennedy, he had the chance to win it. In comes another corner. Savet, no, still nothing. Still right up into the air. Slomani can't clear it. Savet, it goes backwards. Dan, Scott Dan, he's trying to play it out. Three minutes of stoppage time. Oh, if they got one now, I'd be heartbroken. Oh, I can't get there. Please get there first, Kennedy. Yes, boot it up. Oh, no one's there. I'm kicking it to where Kennedy's supposed to be. Don't let it get past you. Don't let it. I don't care if you have to go through the back of him, Shelby. Seriously, just stop it. I don't think we're going to get a win. It's just there won't be enough time. We just have to get the ball. And there is the interception. Savet tried to knock it up forward. Couldn't. How long do these three minutes want to fucking go? Great slide tackle. Please let it go for a bit longer. Another pass. Not great, though. Savet. Again, just fucking make a pass. And how long are these three minutes going? Oh, they've still got it going. Tackle. So, oh, LaSalle's done brilliantly. Keep it going, ref. Just that little bit longer. Just that little bit longer. Atsu. Atsu, please. Slamani. He's going. Atsu. Oh, I don't think I can find an opening. Not yet. Let's go backward. Not too far backward, though. Yedlin. Complete the switch. Let's do it. How long are these three minutes going? It's incredible. Shelby. Up the middle again. Oh, just fucking fuck's sake. Couldn't get a shot. It's still going. Oh, no, please, no. Guys, no. Not like this. Oh, no. How long did that go? And the keeper's reactions. Oh, I did already pass him. It was bang on into the top. I thought, surely, after our attack, the three minutes of stoppage time would have ended. Oh, it's insane how long these three minutes of stoppage time has gone. I'm going to throw the whole, the whole time, that, from the second that the stoppage time started, I am going to put it in. And now we have to go... All out attack. Now you're going to call it. Now you're going to say it's been three minutes of stoppage time. <laughs> Cheating fucking cunts. This game is a fucking... It's a cheat. It's a living entity. And it's fucking cheated me out of a result here. There is no way that they should have had their counter attack that they got their goal from. And there's no way I should have had the attack where I nearly scored as well. Right in the death of that game. Three minutes of stoppage time went for about fucking eight or nine minutes. Oh, just... Oh, I'm close to fucking tears. They had four shots on target. 
for the whole fucking game and scored four goals. When I say I can't let this fucking game get a shot at my goal against me, that's on target. This is what I'm talking about. Any shot on goal is going to be a goal on these settings. I can't let them get one fucking good look in this game. We have now played 10 games in the Premier League and we only have eight points to show for it. We are in 19th position. This is how horribly it's been fucking going for us. And I am genuinely starting to think I wanted this to be a realistic career mode, right? This is what I was going for, to make it as realistic as possible. And I think I've genuinely made it harder for myself to, to fucking get results. Newcastle, right now, throughout the entire season, they've been in a relegation scrap, but at the moment, they're currently sitting like 12th or 13th, or like they're doing well. And it looks like they're probably gonna avoid relegation, maybe not comfortably, but they're going to, you know, they're not in any immediate, uh, they're not in any immediate threat of going down. So. For me to be in this position, I know it's still early days, but 10, goal, 10 games in now, oh, I don't know. We've been going for 60 minutes. I may as well let the whole thing run. Will any of these teams pick up a goal late on? Watch Bournemouth pick one up the way that the fucking game's going. No, it's Diame! Oh, three points. How nice. Very good. Well, uh, at the moment, it feels like the only way that we're getting points is through simulated games, which, fuck, I might have to rely on to keep me up if I'm going to keep the settings of the way they are. Well, anyway, from uh, Crystal Palace at home to Manchester United away. Awesome. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. Ah, rightio then. Let's, uh, let's see just how... Just pour it on me, FIFA 18. Just do it. Why do I get that weird feeling that this could be the... The game where I, like, for some reason, I, it's so stupid how I lose 3-4 to Crystal Palace when they only have four shots on target and the stoppage time seemingly goes forever. And yet, I kind of get the feeling that I almost back myself or rate myself to get a result against Manchester United, just when I really know I shouldn't, but I just feel maybe stupidly optimistic. Doesn't make any sense, but I've just got to, ah, oh, got to learn from what I did in the last game and just try to fucking go again, I suppose. What a ball. Oh, what a... It's just perfect, isn't it? It's just so good. Rashford thankfully hits the side netting. Oh, my. My, my, my. Crossed in's dangerous. Oh, ref! 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 ref. I need to see a ref. What the hell? Alright. He just dived into my fucking player! And that's nothing, apparently. And then out to Lukaku, who will smash it home. Uh, no surprise, I'm not going to have a go at the keeper for not stopping that one. But all the bounces that would just so kindly fall for Lukaku, preceded by a player fucking diving head first into one of my players' knees. That's no foul. This game already is a fucking joke on these settings, but now it's just embarrassing itself with this bullshit. This could work. Very nice move. Lovely move indeed. Richie, shot. Saved. It'll fall. Veratsu! Yes! Oh, I think that's a bit unnecessary, Christian Atsu, but uh, still, nice. Looks, It looks decent. Richie got a lot of space, and I think uh, Slimani was definitely in the way there for a bit, but sheesh. All right, good work. You know, Atsu, as so long as it goes in, mate, I do not care. Atsu. That deflection could work out brilliantly. Could work out terrifically, and that's not Atsu, that's the army. What am I doing? Richie, will he... Oh, no! No, no, awful pass, awful by Richie. It's just floated in, defenders don't deal with it again. Another goal, another goal. And yep, they'll pick up a goal right before half time to make it 2 1 after we finally found an equalizer back. Sheesh, just uh, can't do it. I'm, Carrick just was running to the wing. It's. So obvious he's going to look to cross it. I'm running as hard as I can to stay with him to stop it. But you can't keep up with him. Whips in the ball. And sometimes it's just, yeah, the cross is too accurate. Fake shot, Krishnatsu. It'll work nicely, actually. Out to the right again. Richie. Oh, I thought he took a poor touch. But it's okay. Matt Richie gets the second. This is working out pretty nicely, you know. We attack down one side, and then right as we're approaching their final third, we switch it to the right. We always seem to get space, and there's always someone open. And Matt Ritchie as well is getting open a lot. And, like, you see me, I'm just cutting in. All the defenders are central like that. I thought for sure Ritchie had taken a poor touch, and it cost us the chance. Found a way to get it off just before being tackled by Young. Don't know what way the keep is going, but it's 2-2. 
Oh dear, that's not a good challenge. Yeah, I fucking knew it. That's a horrible... No, I should have known I was going to get a red for that all fucking day. You know that they're going to cross. This is what they've been doing all game. Strakosha with the punch. Please win this header here, Slomani. Oh, he's lost it. Pogba. They're going to do it again. This is all they've been doing. No one's at the back. Oh, that's a, it's a, it's a woeful challenge. It's a woeful attempt. Marino, he's just come on. He's got to have some fresh legs. I know he doesn't have a lot of pace. Look at this right-hand side. Look at Matt Ritchie. Look at Marino, maybe. Oh, the ball is a fucking piece of shit. It's put behind him. Oh, he could have gotten a good header there. He could have had a chance. And now here comes the counter. Don't tell me it's going to happen again. Rashford, dumb at chasing. He definitely feels slower after the injury. And that's going to do it then. 2-2. Two, two. We get a draw. We could have gotten a win. The cross by Richie just was not good enough. It was put behind Marino. I was hoping to cross it into him. Bang on his noggin. Have a headed attempt. Maybe I should have just kept running with Richie. If I knew that the cross was going to be that shit, I would have kept going. But it's a point. It's a point against Manchester United. That's more than we got at home to Crystal Palace. So I'm taking it. Looking at where West Brom and Watford are in the table, they're basically the exact same. They've only got... Like, West Brom's on 15 points and Watford's on 14 points. So there's really no difference there, except for the fact that Watford have drawn 8 of their 12 games. So, honestly, I imagine they're about the same sort of level. I'd probably simulate the... I'm probably just going to simulate the home game, because, you know, you'd much rather sim the home game than the away game. So, I'll sim Watford instead and play West Brom. Their last couple of results as well have not been all too great. So, who knows? We will see. Are we going to get that at any result? Any result? Yes, we do. Except we get an injury to Strakosha, who I was really critical of in the first couple episodes, but he's turned a corner a little bit in this one. So it's a shame to see him go. How long is the injury? It's an eight-week injury for Thomas Strakosha with a, with a broken collarbone. And, of course, I forgot to mention that we lost Paul Dummett for five days, and as well, we lost DeAndre Yedlin for seven days months so he's gone for the season with an acl that's basically him done surely so with all the injuries that we've had and the fact that we just played a game only a few days ago so some of my players are a bit tired this is the team that we have diame and slamani still up front atsu shelby hayden's gonna go in there we've got jacob murphy making a rare appearance too man keo now playing that right back position uh lascelles was really tired so i put kieran clark in layoon dummett's there at left back and carl darlow goes in goal since, obviously, the injury to Strakosha, who is still going to be out for a little while now, with basically two months. We'll get him back, basically, in January. So, yep. And as for Yedlin, well, we're basically going to have to say goodbye to him for the, for the entire season. I don't know if that means I'm going to have to go out and get a new right back. Probably means it's going to have to become a focus. I mean, I, I really wanted to focus on getting a central mid or center attacking midfielder in that number 10 role, because Diame's, uh, he's only 72 rated, and it, and it definitely shows. So even though he's done okay, he's not done bad or anything, I just, I'd like to get a bit more quality in that area. But West Brom are, without, without a shadow of a doubt, surely the worst team in the Premier League right now in real life. And I need, I need to get it. I need to get the win. I, I just, come on. We got a loss, a draw, and a win in my last episode. Can we go back to back? And again, we're opening things up on the right-hand side. Lovely here. Up the middle. To the... I'm like, I could just do it again. And Atsu, oh my god, Neon! Just a bit too slow there. Atsu to get your shot off, son. Come on. Header, 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 win it. You need to win this. Oh, that would have been big. Oh, that would have been big. And I thought, no, he definitely should have passed that across the face of goal. He had a teammate open. Wow. I mean, we're playing Manchester United. There's no way that doesn't end up in a goal. Slowly moving it around right now. Slomani. Shot. Oh, inches. It's an awkward one for him to take too, but it's close. Do I get that one chance right before the end of the half? That one opportunity. Maybe with Isaac Hayden, the shot gets blocked. Neom, and that'll do. It is only two minutes of stoppage time this time. It's a nil-nil boring draw, and is this the most West Brom game of all time? They are sitting back, parking back. I have absolutely fucking dominated possession. I'm playing it around the edges of their box and trying to break them down. It is so true to life right now, honestly. I'm almost sort of considering letting them get a bit more of the ball and trying to hit them on a counter-attack or something. But even then, they probably won't throw that many numbers up. Diame's in here. Diame can get a shot. Save Pacheco. I thought that was a good effort as well. How is this keeper stopping every attempt that I have on target? And here's that counter-attack that I was talking about. Rodriguez, is he going to get let in here? Yes, he will! 
One counter attack. One. And my boys just feel so fucking weak as well. There's no way that I'd ever see them stick their arm across, get the inside shoulder, and, I don't know, step in front of them. Never happening. Look at that. I'm, I'm sticking with them the whole way. The whole way. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Doesn't fucking matter. And the shot on target, what did I tell you? Good pass, that. And again, Shelby, please, just get a shot. Dion made a save. I should have cut that at the back post. There was someone there. It will not go in right now. I think I've taken about 12 or 13 shots in the game. Chance maybe now. Diame, another shot. That was right down the middle of the goal. I was aiming for the bottom right-hand corner. I'm only going to whoever's open because we are in stoppage time. There's only two minutes of it. Yes. No! Oh, how did that not get at the back? How did not that... How didn't that get to Kennedy? How... What... Oh! How did that not get to Kennedy? He was so open. How, how was that picked off? Piss off. Fuck sake. 14 shots. 64%. Oh, I can't be asked. Oh, it's just, it's so incredibly, unbelievably hard. Fuck me. I can't believe it. I just, well, that, that's sort of almost going back to what I've been talking about before. How when... Oh my god! You're fucking kidding me! It's only a three-day injury, but that is eight injuries in one episode! At least my scouts are actually doing pretty nicely. I mean, at least I've got something going for me, because we've got Javier Fernandez, not Hernandez, Fernandez, and he's only 17, 250 grand. Maybe you could have expected him to be a bit more, but I like how I like how he's... Let me go back. He's either going to be a striker, a midfielder, or is that a goalkeeper? Okay, whatever, but um, no, I'm, I'm assuming not. Because he's only like five foot ten. Nothing really to speak about in France. We do have this man who looks okay, and maybe a few others, but no. And speaking of, you know, the French, by the way, the Pi Pilard, Pilards. I know I said I was going to learn his name. I don't know. We're sticking with Pilard for the second, but Yannick Pilard and now Jerome Pilard. Like, how many of these fucking Pilards are going to pop up from France? And again, in England, it's just been shocking. It really has been. It's, it's really horrible. Like, I've gone through and reje rejected, like, maybe 10 players from this little scout report. The only way that I'd reject a player is if they had a max overall below 55 and their value wasn't really high. I'm telling you what, these are the two even mediocre players that we have left, and I'm probably not going to get either of them. But we leave things here. The next episode, the next game in the next episode, should I say, is against Chelsea. And despite being 19th at the beginning of this episode, we finished 15th. Thank God for the Sim games, okay? This is why, I, and, and even to be fair, in the last episode, the Sim games were not working out that well for me. They were giving me some L's, but I was able to turn it around and pick up some points myself. It's a weird one, this. Either I'm doing horribly, and by I, I mean the game is just going fucking in overdrive, or, uh, or I don't know, I'm getting shafted with Sim games, but I'm doing okay in the matches. It's, it's a weird one, but I'm 15th at the moment, right behind Liverpool, right above Manchester United. What is this? What is this? Ah, oh, but we're done for this one. Uh, two losses and a draw. And man, I, I cannot stomach either of the losses. Because that West Brom game was a fucking... I was... Oh, I had so much possession. I had so many opportunities, so many chances. I had so much of the ball. Couldn't find a way to... Eat, uh, couldn't find a way in. And they ping us on one counter-attack. They had like three or four shots for the whole game. So infuriating. And then, the loss against Palace. The stoppage time. That just would never end. Fuck me, boys. It's just... Oh, sometimes it just, it's, it's too much. But until the next episode, where hopefully we'll do a little bit better, my name's Masterbucks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good one.